everyone welcome to another week in lockdown uh it is actually quite depressing uh listening to news uh every day press conference by mr andrew barr um and numbers are going up which is quite sad uh and lockdowns are gonna obviously extend and everything like that and so i'm kind of tired of watching the news and i just wanted to know the stats of the day without having to view the press conference and you know all the emotions that come up when you're watching uh something on you know uh live tv uh breaking news all that kind of stuff so i quickly googled up a website and it is amazing i bookmarked it on my phone every time i want to know the quick stats it's there let me quickly show it to you this is covidlive.com.au what it does is gather all the data that's relevant uh, to the crisis we're in. Uh, and what it does is um, gives it by state by state, breaks it down in the numbers you care about. So, A, I care about how many people got COVID today. And so you can see, boom, 30 cases today, which is like quite high considering a couple of days ago is quite, you know, not as much. We'll look at the uh summary data for act in a second but then the other numbers we care about is how many vaccines are being taken up uh, how many tests are done all that kind of stuff um but what i find really interesting is the vaccination numbers of the first dose and the second dose so right now in australia only uh it's going to take another 10 days for 60 percent of our population to get our first dose um and 80 percent uh, of a, it's going to take 39 days for 80 percent of our population uh, to get the first dose. But what I care more about is the second dose, 87 days. So that's like about three months before we've almost got herd immunity. I mean, we need higher numbers because this only t t takes into account uh, people over the age of 16. Uh, but you know, that's roughly good numbers. That herd immunity is going to start kicking in, and uh, lockdowns are slowly going to, you know and uh as we develop herd immunity um so let's specifically go to act i know there's a lot more data like case numbers around the world and everything like that um but living at act so we're going to click on that map uh of australia at the top there and we're going to click on act and specifically you can see yes we've got 30 cases so now we have 291 active cases at the moment um, last updated gives you awesome that oh this was updated a couple of hours ago which is awesome um, and then you can see there we go the the figures over the last week or so so we only had 16 yesterday uh, and then we just doubled that to 30 so it's good that people who are close contacts are going out and getting tested and everything like that uh, but what I'm more excited about is oh we've already hit our t our 60% first dose, which is really amazing. Um, and 80% for the second dose is only going to take 47 days. So that's not three months. That is a month and a half. So that sounds much, much better uh, than how the rest of Australia is doing. Um, so that's, that's really awesome. Uh, it's also got other useful links. So you can click on alerts here or map here. So if you click on map uh, for a second, we'll open in a new tab. Um, you can actually see, oh, which locations uh, in Canberra specifically had uh, the virus. So, for example, if you are, let's go to Dixon. Or if you go to Lyon High School, you got to isolate for 14 days. That's, that's a given because obviously there were active cases there. But if you went to, for example, uh, Subway Dixon, oh, we got isolated for 14 days. Let's click on that. And ah, from Wednesday, 11th August, from 7 p.m. to 7:50 p.m., there must have been a customer there who ordered a subway. And now anyone who's was at subway at that specific time is got to isolate for 14 days, right? Um, so that's really cool how we got like a visual map because when you have a table, and so if you go back here and you click on alerts, and We'll give you the full table of exposure sites and everything from the ACT government, right? Which is useful, but it's not very visual data at all. And so that's why I really prefer this awesome map because it'll tell me, oh yeah, 
I, I've been to, uh, you know, this local area of ours. Um, oh, Willis Dixon, I've definitely been there. What dates do I need to check? Okay. Yep, I was not there on the Monday, Wednesday, uh, Saturday. Oh, okay, cool. I wasn't on those days, so I'm sorry. But if I was, I'd be like, oh, okay, I was there on Wednesday uh, between 3 to 3.30. Cool. Uh, we need to yellow. What does yellow mean? Yellow means... Ah, yellow means I'm fine. I don't need to isolate for 14 days, isolate until advice or anything like that. I do what it says, get tested immediately and self-isolate when until you get a negative result, right? So I go off to Epic or one of the other um, test sites and uh, if I get a negative result, it usually takes 48 hours, boom, I'm fine. I can go about my day. And so it's awesome that they've got these legends and um, uh, the color coding and everything like that. So that's really cool, really cool. Um, and yeah, that's that's the COVID Live website with its useful links to the map as well, which is covid 19 neemicomau uh, And then obviously it's got a link to the official uh, COVID19ACT.gov.au website, which has got the full exposure list. Um, and so yeah, that's, that's really awesome. Hope you find this useful and you bookmark it just like I did. And that way you don't have to look at the news every day. You can quickly look at this website uh, to get the, the information you need. So thanks for watching guys. I'll see you guys soon.